Treatment of Neuropathic Pain in the Pain Center in Soest, the Netherlands. One of the treatment options for patients with painful neuropathy is very often forgotten. It is the treatment via the skin or so-called transdermal route of application. There are a couple of extremely interesting creams which you can apply on, for instance, the feet of a patient suffering from diabetic painful neuropathy. The skin is very often neglected and um, there are a number of patients who prefer to be treated with treatment modalities where they do not suffer so much from side effects. The analgesics which are active in painful neuropathy sometimes have really side effects which are bothersome like uh, the feeling if your head is from cotton, dizziness or nausea and some of those patients coming to our site clearly state that they do not want to um, be treated with oral analgesics. These patients, but also patients already on oral analgesics, can really be helped if you also consider the transdermal route. One of the creams which is not very often prescribed, which, but which is really worthwhile considering, is capsaicin 0.075%. You have to um, put that on the skin where the pain hurts the most for at least three times a day and understand that the first couple of times you may suffer from slight burning of your skin as a side effect. This very often goes away and the cream needs three to eight weeks to really fully develop its activity. It's a kind of training of the nerves. In the capsaicin cream there is a component which is transported from the nerves in the skin to the central nervous system and there it works like a door. It closes the door of certain pain signals. This receptor is called the phenyloid receptor CR2. A second cream which you can apply on the skin together with capsaicin is lidocaine cream. Lidocaine is an anesthetic cream which directly helps you to uh, feel the pain less intense. It numbs the skin a bit. And the third cream which we often prescribe in our site together with the first two is isosorbite dinitrate cream. This is a very interesting one because isosorbite dinitrate inhibits a certain pain route based on um, nitrogenous oxides and uh, it is well known from the nitrobate under the tongue in patients which suffer from pain on the chest. Directly the chest pain goes away if you put uh, such a pill under your tongue. Now we deliver it transdermally and clearly it has an activity under the skin on the very little nerves which transmit the pain signal. These three creams together in our site are relatively often prescribed to patients which do not want to take oral analgesics or to patients which already are on oral analgesics but the efficacy of the combination of these drugs by oral, taken orally, is insufficient. Then we apply the creams, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes all three together. A fourth cream we sometimes prescribe is amitriptyline 5% and 10% cream. These creams can all be made by a good pharmacist and happily for our side we have a very good connection with a scientific pharmacist who prepares these creams for us. And there is a considerable number of patients which really do benefit from the transdermal application route of these analgesic drugs in cream. Capsaicin, lidocaine, isobidinitrate and amitriptyline. We hope to be able to create a new cream soon based on ketamine and amitriptyline. 
patients suffering from neuropathic pain really has to be treated with a lot of innovation. You need not to stick to the classical prescription drugs which are recommended in the Cochrane reviews. You really do need to explore new ways, new options, new inroads in treating this complex pain. It will take too long if we wait on new Cochrane analysis to appear. In these new ways to treat pain, especially because the pharmaceutical industry does not really have a lot of interest in, for instance, these creams, because all the patents are already long gone. So you have to play with it and patients have to ask for it. Ask the doctor to consider transdermal creams. From the Treatment Center for Neuropathic Pain in Soest, the Netherlands.